entrano sen, senza che tu te ne accorga. Bussano la porta, sono cortesi, no, va bene, va avanti. E poi alla fine comandano loro nel tuo animo. Stati attenti. He's here, but many don't see it. History is not just random events. It's like a timeline with a beginning and an end. The Bible tells us this. In this timeline, we meet two mysterious figures in Revelation 13. The first one, with seven heads and ten horns, is called the Antichrist. The second comes from the earth and makes people worship the first one, the false prophet. So let's dive into a profound mystery that has puzzled scholars and believers for ages. The Antichrist. Who is this figure? Where does he come from? And what's his role in the Bible's predictions? Some say he's powerful. Others imagine a deceptive alien-like being. Could he be a political leader or religious figure? or even linked to modern technology. These ideas have strengths and weaknesses. Several theories are talking about the Antichrist. The first theory, the rich billionaire theory. The rich billionaire theory suggests that the Antichrist will be a super wealthy and powerful person. This Antichrist would use their immense riches to control governments and worldwide systems. This theory has some Bible verses. First, there's a beast from the sea with 10 horns and seven heads. People often say these symbolize different nations or power groups. In this theory, the Antichrist, as a rich billionaire, might control these structures. They could lead a big global company or be a powerful political figure connected to many countries. The beast gets authority over everyone, and people worship it because of its power. This shows how much influence and control this wealthy person could have in modern society. The theory says their huge wealth could help them shape what people think, control the media, and even influence political leaders. Next, there's talk about economic control. It says the second beast gives everyone a special mark for buying or selling things. In the rich billionaire theory, this could mean the Antichrist's ability to control global money. They might be in charge of international finance or important technologies. This would let them make economic rules that fit their plans. Then there is the religious leader theory. Some people think the Antichrist will be a religious leader. He might perform tricky miracles and signs to create a global religion. This theory connects to a part of the Bible that talks about spiritual trickery. Now comes the political leader theory. This theory suggests that the Antichrist will be a powerful political leader who can unite different countries under one government. He promises peace and prosperity, but eventually leads people away from God. This idea connects with the Bible, especially Daniel 7, 23, 25. This verse talks about a fourth kingdom that is different from the others and will consume the whole earth. This could mean a global government led by the Antichrist. It also mentions the kingdom devouring and trampling the earth, possibly showing the leaders control over many nations through force or diplomacy. Daniel 7.24 talks about 10 kings coming from this kingdom, with the Antichrist being different and more powerful than the others. He even removes three of these kings. This emphasizes the uniqueness of the Antichrist's leadership, possibly due to his charisma or political skills. Lastly, Daniel 7.25 says the Antichrist will speak against God, oppress religious believers, and try to change laws and times. This could mean he will try to divert worship from God to himself and reshape society's rules to fit his values. Also, Daniel 7.23, 25 describes a powerful and unique leader who opposes God, controls many nations, and changes laws. This aligns with the theory that the Antichrist will be a charismatic political leader who leads people away from true faith. This theory has led to people speculating that various political leaders might be the Antichrist whenever someone prominent rises to power. It's almost like a recurring pattern in discussions about the Antichrist. Every time a new political leader comes into the spotlight, some people start suggesting reasons why they could be the Antichrist. The apostate church leader theory. Some believe the Antichrist could come from within the Christian church, but in a twisted way. This leader might follow a messed up version of Christianity and reject important beliefs. They get this idea from Bible passages that talk about people leaving the faith in the end times, like in 1 Timothy 4, 1, 2, next theory, the alien deception theory. Another theory suggests that in the end times there will be a deceptive trick by the devil. The Antichrist might pretend to be an alien from another planet. This idea focuses on the Antichrist's ability to trick people with supernatural powers, just like what's mentioned in the Bible and other ancient stories. 
The Bible, especially Matthew 24, 2, 4, 11, warns us about lies and powerful fake miracles happening in the end times. So if someone claimed to be an alien or from another world, it would fit this idea of powerful deception. Throughout history, some earthly beings have had interactions with beings from other worlds. These stories are even found in cultures like the Sumerians. They tell tales of earthly folks learning from beings, not from Earth. These accounts are intriguing and suggest that these otherworldly beings shared advanced knowledge with humans. Now think about this. What if someone from another planet showed up on Earth? People would be amazed. They might even worship this being. We already see how some people idolize celebrities treating them like gods. So if an alien trick happened, it could be even more convincing. Imagine this alien claiming to have all the answers, solving our problems and explaining the Earth's origins. Many would worship them. Even those who go to church might be drawn to worshiping this being. The question of how the Earth began still puzzles us. Some say it was a Big Bang. But we don't know where that came from. So if an alien came and explained the origins of life, religions, and our planet, it might convince billions to follow them, rebuilding Roman Empire theory. Others say the Antichrist will come from a new version of the old Roman Empire. They link this idea to groups like the European Union. They base this theory on how beasts are described in the Bible in places like Daniel 7 and Revelation 13. Finally, spirit of the Antichrist theory. Some modern theories suggest that the Antichrist could be linked to advanced technology and artificial intelligence. They focus on how this Antichrist-like entity could deceive and control people, as described in the book of Revelation. Now let's talk about the Antichrist. He hasn't shown up on the world stage yet, but his influence is already here. We need to be watchful and wise, understanding the signs and protecting ourselves from his impact. The Bible warns us about the Antichrist in 1 John 4, 3, saying that anyone who doesn't acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist and it's already active in the world. If we look around today, we can see that things are heading in a certain direction. And there are signs that the spirit of the Antichrist is becoming more apparent. As believers, we must notice these signs and stay faithful to God's teachings. One clear sign of the Antichrist's influence is the rise of secularism and the rejection of God's moral values. People are becoming more focused on themselves and their desires, often ignoring the well-being of others. This self-centered attitude goes against the teachings of Jesus, who emphasized love and selflessness. The Antichrist spirit thrives in a world that values human desires over God's plan and righteousness. The spirit of the Antichrist is already at work in our world today. The Apostle John mentioned the Antichrist and how there would be precursors leading up to his arrival, all influenced by the same spirit. Just like believers can be filled with the Holy Spirit, some people can be influenced by the spirit of the Antichrist. We can see a decline in reverence for Jesus Christ and increased anti-God sentiments in society. This is reflected in growing lawlessness, a trend that's becoming more evident over time. For example, in the past, you could find Bibles in American classrooms and UK hotel rooms. But now Bibles are disappearing from public spaces and the fear of God is declining globally. All of this is paving the way for the arrival of the Antichrist. People sometimes think that when the Antichrist comes, he'll have to make significant changes to the world. But that's not necessarily the case. When he does arrive, the world will already be prepared for him. The spirit of the Antichrist is working in the world, leading to a decline in the fear of God. This shift is a sign of the times, as Jesus mentioned in the Bible. What do you think of these theories describing the Antichrist? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos. Love.